looks like somebody used a landmine to clear their sinuses. Exploding 9mm shell. Now it's all yours. The film is, you know, although set in Joburg, it is, it is really the end of the world as we know it. Um, there's trading in human beings and money is no longer an option. Uh, that's, not being, that's not the commodity that they work with. So Prince Lewis comes, although he comes from the previous era where he still knew all of that, uh, I think he's one of the few cops that are still, you know, very much dedicated to being a good detective and wanting to stamp out corruption regardless. So, um, yeah, that in itself, I think uh, that's the way I played him, very straightforward. Sometimes it could become very stereotypical, but it's, you know, I always work against the stereotypes. Brian Cox, the producer and writer, uh, sent me a mail and said that he would like to send me a script um, from L.A., and I was very excited about that, certainly. And he said, read it and choose a character. So I did, and I chose the character of Akar. And, and he said, no, no, that role is already taken by Samuel L. Jackson. So I said, fine, I'll take anything else. <laughs> but um, that was very nice of him because he saw my work in Long Walk to Freedom, as Kubi could see her, and, um, you know, one led to the other, which I'm very honored by. My name is Sawa. My father was a cop who fought the cartels, but the emir killed him and my mother. So one by one, I take my revenge until I reach the emir. Uh, uh, uh.